Is natural talent a be all end all to becoming a really good guitar player? Absolutely not. Join me today as I reveal with you the driving force behind sounding really good on guitar, which is something you can develop right now. And if you're ready to sound much better and improve your skills, you won't want to miss this. My journey may be like a lot of yours. I wasn't a child prodigy. I started out in church playing super young. And these are the things that I've learned over the last 35 years. I've really had to focus in on really three things that have really improved me to make me sound better over time. And just like what I focus in on, you can focus on those things too. So let's learn them now. First of all, you have to define what being successful as a guitar player is. Is your main goal to be playing, making money, playing professional? Is it just to play at the local coffee shops, play locally, or just for your friends and family? You have to decide what that looks like for you. And if you need help, there's a lot of content on this channel that's really gonna help you. Second thing, you wanna to listen to a lot of music. Currently, right now, I'm listening to a lot of CCM because I really wanna dial in my tone. I wanna understand how to play with reverb and delays to have those lush sounds and not be overwhelming, but I wanted to be in that perfect sweet spot. The third thing you gotta do is you gotta practice. Here's some of the things you should be focusing on at least 10 minutes per day, but first, I'm going to assume that you have a basic knowledge of the fretboard and you know the notes on the neck of the guitar. And if you don't, it's cool. Just check out Carrie's Camp, the link is in my bio. All right, so this is something you can warm up with. It's a great warm-up exercise where you're just practicing on your dexterity. all the way down the neck of the guitar. Then the next thing I want you to focus in on is understanding the major scales and knowing the number system. We're gonna start out with G, right? Two frets up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. We're gonna to go to C and do the same thing. C. Now you gotta learn the major scale and you gotta work on your number system. So let's go over the key of G, okay? We're gonna start with the third fret. So it'll be one, two frets up, two, two frets up, three. Right underneath one is four. Two frets up is five, two frets up is six. We go back to one and a half step down is seven. One more time. to C and do the same thing in C. One, two frets up, two, two frets up, three, a half fret up is four, right above one on the E string is five, two frets up, six, two frets up, seven, back to one. So it'll be one, two, And the last thing you want to focus in on is chord progressions. Okay, so here's some three basic chord progression that you can use specifically for R&B that can definitely help you out. So we'll do four, two, three, six, one we can do is three four and then three six I'm sorry three two Now the last one is meant to kind of stretch you a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit of a stretch. All of these chord progressions that we've just played have been in the key of C. So I want you to think of working out in the key of C. So it'll be seven, Thank you. 
So if you practice on those things, at least 10 minutes a day, get that stuff underneath your hands and you ask yourself those three things and you work on those three things, you're gonna see much improvement in your guitar playing. If you love stuff like this, please leave a comment. If you're gonna use any of these techniques, leave a comment and let me know. I can't wait to hear from you and hopefully you enjoy this lesson.